What's up guys? Ready to get your mind blown? Because today I'm gonna show you how to draw figures like Kim Young Ji. Alright, so here you can see a couple of drawings made by him. And I've picked these drawings specifically because there's a pretty big difference in how he drew these characters or figures. On the right, the figures are pretty realistic. We can see folds in the skin. We see bones protruding. This, the, the, the clothing is pretty realistic with all kinds of folds in there. The whole pose is in pretty dynamic perspective like this. Uh, we see a bit of side boob. I mean, there's a lot, lot of realism in here. Well, if we look to these left drawings, they are a lot more simple. Over here, the arm is almost just like a cylinder going down. And the same counts for his leg. It's almost just a cylinder. There's not a lot of bumps or things. Even over here, I mean, this leg, this leg is almost like a tube with a dent into it. The same counts for the arms. So on the right, we have realism. And on the left, we have a more cartoony style. Now, the difference between these two styles, we could place them on a scale, is that on, in realism, he's thinking about anatomy and clothing. While on the right with cartoony, he's just thinking about simple shapes, like boxes or cylinders. A thing I've noticed is that I'm prone to want to draw more realistic drawings. But the thing is, I'm not skilled enough to do that yet. So what happens is that I'm feeling very frustrated because I'm not able to express the ideas that I have in my mind. And this is really demotivating. And I think this happens with a lot of artists. So what I want to advise you is to just take a step back. And instead of focusing on realistic drawings, focus on more simpler drawings. So I found this drawing and this drawing literally explains everything. Because when we look at this drawing, we see a lot of impressive stuff. He's drawing a frontal view over here. He's drawing a girl sitting, side view, crazy pose and mechanical legs. So the drawing is really distracting from actually the most important thing we see over here, which is also the mannequin and these boxes here on the top right. We are prone to look at the reel of the drawing instead of the mannequin. But the mannequin is so important because that gives form to your figures. I'll say that again. It gives form to your figures and thus volume. Apart from this drawing, in most cases, of course, he doesn't draw the mannequin, but he does visualize it. And if you visualize the mannequin, then drawing a figure is just a lot easier. Now to draw the mannequin, we need to have an idea of proportions. So I pulled in this image by Leonardo da Vinci, and this gives us a pretty good idea of the proportions of the mannequin. If we visualize the box, you can actually see that the body or the mannequin has certain landmarks. So if I just copy this landmark box and I draw in a mannequin, I know that on the first quarter is just underneath the chest. Halfway we hit the underside of the pelvis and on three quarters we're just underneath the knees. So drawing in a mannequin will look something like this. Now that we know the proportions and the landmarks of the body, we can actually tilt and rotate the box of the whole mannequin and place it in a different perspective. So the first step is to draw a box and then we just do the same as we did with Leonardo da Vinci's drawing. We visualize the cross of Leonardo da Vinci, which gives us an idea of where the pelvis is. And now we can just draw in the mannequin. Your best bet is to buy a mannequin like this one from your local art store and put it in different poses. I don't know. Just have it take different poses and put it on different places where you're drawing. Have it on the table, have it on the ground, put it on this spike thingy. I don't know, stick it to your freaking ceiling. I don't care what you do, but after you've done this for two weeks, I promise you, you'll get a better understanding of how volume and form works within the human body. After those two weeks, you'll probably feel very confident and you want to draw something like this or this or this, but don't. Instead of going two or three steps forward, just go one step forward or maybe one step backward. There's no haste in this, right? I mean, 
Kim Young Ji has been drawing literally for years, so just take it slow. Instead of focusing on drawings like this that have loads of details and different materials, try to make a very simple drawing like this. In the end, it's better to build up your figures with boxes or cylinders. Because if your figure doesn't convey a certain feeling of volume, it's just not cool to look at. Apart from children's drawings, of course. And even worse, you will probably feel demotivated because you're not reaching the result that you're looking for. But when you can make a very simple drawing of a figure without anatomy or clothing, and it communicates volume, then people will like watching it and you'll feel more confident in expressing your imagination. After drawing mannequins for two weeks, you'll probably feel bored out and you wanna do a different exercise. Now in that case, check out my Gumroad because over there I have some videos with very specific exercises focused on certain areas. For example, boxes, perspective. Now for now, there's only a beginner's perspective video, but I'm working on an intermediate and an advanced perspective video. By the time you're watching this, it might actually already be out. But enough commercial for now. I want to thank you for watching this video. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Click the subscribe button, of course. It really helps me out. And have an awesome day. Bye-bye.